Hello everybody, this is Eli Stream, and today I am super, super, super excited because the Minecraft Pocket Edition Beta 1.1 just dropped. Beta Build 1 for Minecraft Pocket Edition, and this update is ridiculous. It has so many new features. Look out, Minecraft PC, because these updates for Minecraft Pocket Edition are coming in like the speed of light. I'm not even kidding. This is ridiculous how fast we're getting these updates, and there is so much to cover today. I'm probably going to miss a whole lot. Before we get into today's video, as you can see, I kind of am on the Play Store because we're going to have a look at the change log, um, because, you know, I will miss something in game but as I was saying before we get started let's see whether we can hit a like goal of 300 likes on this video today guys I know you can do it so make sure to smash that like button go absolutely crazy on it if you are hyped for this new update if you can't wait for the official version to come out for iOS and Android I'm speaking really quickly because I'm just super super excited so make sure to go throw your tablet at the wall D just a disclaimer there I do not support that but make sure that like button turns blue no matter what the cost and let's go ahead reach 300 likes if we do I will be adding some lucky lucky people to my Minecraft Pocket Edition realm so make sure to leave your gamer tag in the dis uh, comments below so you have a chance of being added now I should probably slow down so you can hear what I'm saying but today the new version of Minecraft Pocket Edition came out and it's basically the exploration update that Minecraft PC got uh, 1.11 just a few months ago but for Minecraft Pocket Edition. So here we are in the Play Store here. I am a beta tester. You will need to be a beta tester for this application to get it. If you don't know how to do that, I will have the link in the description below so you can follow um, that. So if we scroll down here, let's have a look at what is new in the 1.1 beta. So first of all, llamas. We have llamas in Minecraft Pocket Edition. That's crazy cool. Um, that's pretty cool. Um, we also have shulker boxes, which are basically chests, but uh, you get them in end cities and that kind of thing. Uh, we have Illagers, there are the Evokers and Vindicators, and these are two boss-like mobs. Um, I don't know whether you guys saw my Wizard Boss add-on just recently on the channel, but this is basically like them, except they're actually officially part of Minecraft Pocket Edition. Now, those are found in Woodland Mansions, and as you can see there, Woodland Mansions is one of the things that have been added to Minecraft Pocket Edition, and these are these humongous mansions that are found spawning randomly, and they're like haunted mansions, and you can find them in Dark Oak biomes anywhere over the Minecraft world. Now, we probably won't have a look at one today because, um, you know, I'm just going to be opening a random world, but I will have a Woodland Mansion seed on my channel as soon as possible, so get hyped for that. We also have the Vex, which is just like um, an Evoker but vi and Vindicator, but it is the ultimate boss, just like the Wither and Ender Dragon. Then we have Concrete and Concrete Powder. Now, these were two new items just released in Minecraft 1.12, I believe. And these are really cool building items. I actually did a showcase on a texture pack that allowed us to have a look at what they would be in Minecraft Bug Edition. But it looks like we're not going to have to wait any longer because, as you can see, we've got Concrete Blocks. And we also have Glazed Terracotta Blocks, which are blocks with patterns. Now, we are going to have a look at all of this in a minute. Um, sorry if I butcher any of these things here because these are all from Minecraft PC. And I haven't played Minecraft PC in a long time. So if I'm getting some of these wrong... Don't mind just letting me know in the comments below. I'm completely open to correction. We also have dyeable beds, so we can get tons of different colors of beds. So you get red, blue, green, yellow, pink, all that good stuff. That's really cool. And we can also uh, use iron and gold tools, and they can be smelted into iron nuggets and gold nuggets, um, which then can be crafted into iron and gold ingots. So you can basically reuse tools, which I think is pretty cool. Then we have Adventure Mode, which finally, it's here for Minecraft Pocket Edition. If you don't know what Adventure Mode is, it's basically, um, so Minecraft developers can go ahead, so map developers can build a map, and they put it into Adventure Mode, which means you can't break blocks, and you can't do all that kind of crazy stuff. So you can actually have a legitimate Adventure Map, so that's really, really cool. I can't wait to see that being used in some great map designs, along with, uh, command blocks and all that kind of crazy stuff. Then we have a few new game rules, which I'm super excited about. We have Slash Do Fire Trick. We have slash do mob spawning, so you can turn off mob spawning, etc. Slash do tile drops, um, slash mob griefing, so you can turn off things like creeper explosions, which I'm super excited about because we can finally be able to turn that off for our realm. Uh, we have slash do entity drops, which basically stops mobs from dropping things. And then my favorite one of all time, slash keep inventory. This will be so good for maps, so let's say you're doing an adventure map. 
and the map developer, let's say, always wants you to have the same items in your inventory, they can just do slash game rule, keep inventory, and bang, there we go, you will always keep your inventory after you die, or if you're just like me and you're super clumsy and you fall in lava a lot, you've got slash keep inventory so you can go ahead and never lose your items, which I think is really, really sick. Now, we've already gone five minutes into the video and we haven't even opened up Minecraft Pocket Edition, so we should probably do that. Let me go ahead, jump over to Minecraft Pocket Edition here. I apologize if it does lag a little. I am running a really old device here, and this is a beta, of course. So let's have a look. As you can see, we are in version 1.1.0.0. This is crazy. Even Minecraft says freaky if you look at the text there. Alright, so let's have a look here. So, we're going to go ahead and create a brand new world. Um, let's have a look. Is there anything new in the menus here? No, everything looks pretty much the same. So, we're going to go ahead and as you can see, we have creative and survival here. Let's go ahead and switch over to creative. Uh, difficulty can stay the same. Turn cheats on. All that kind of good stuff. Now, wouldn't it be crazy if we spawned right next to a woodland mansion? That would be absolutely insane, but I don't think we're going to have that kind of luck today. Let's go ahead and open up the world. Sinking pack with servo, please wait. I don't know what that means, but apparently it's something new they've added, so I don't know. Let's go ahead. I'm super excited. Oh my gosh, here we got, here we are, guys, in the brand new Minecraft Pocket Edition world. As you can see, we've spawned next to a Mesa Biome, which I think is pretty sick. I was not expecting to do that anytime soon. Let's come straight down here and have a look at all the new items that we've got in Minecraft Pocket Edition. All right, open up the inventory here. Let's have a look in this section first. So if we come down here, we have uh, shulker shells, which I use to create the shulker boxes. Then if we come down just a little further, I am going to miss stuff, so that's why we did have a look at the change log earlier. I apologize if I miss your favorite thing. Um, yeah, okay, that's all pretty good. Now, another thing that there wasn't in the change log, but I do know about, is you may notice this fifth slot here. Now, I was hoping when I saw this that, oh my gosh, we're going to have dual wielding in Minecraft Pocket Edition. We can hold a sword and a pickaxe at the same time. It's going to be super cool. Sadly, that is not here just yet. Instead, though, it does allow you, so if we go ahead... Now, what it basically means is if that we go ahead and equip those arrows of harming, whenever we use a bow and arrow, instead of going, instead of um, using, let's say, a normal arrow, it will always use the arrow that you have equipped in your inventory. So basically, let's say you have uh, harming arrows and poison arrows in your inventory. Let's say you only want to use the harming arrows first, so you go ahead and equip them in this inventory. Sadly, this is not dual wielding. I did think it was, but unfortunately, that is not the case. But still, pretty, pretty cool feature here to go ahead and allow us to choose what kind of arrows we want coming out of our bone. So that's really, really cool. If we switch over to the weapon section, of course, we have... Um, I don't know what, we have the llama, of course, look at these guys, we have the llamas, I'm super, look at these guys, look at them, look at them, hello llama, oh my gosh, that head just glitched so much, well, I guess that's what happens when you are in a beta, and of course, you can mount these llamas here, and you can control them with, I believe it is a carrot and a stick, we're not going to do that today, because I'm, we're already pretty pressed for time, so I'm going to try and rush this along, so you guys get all the good stuff. So besides for llamas, I'm just going to try and make sure I don't miss anything here. We have the Vindicator. These are what Vindicators look like, as you can see. Um, obviously, won't, we won't be able to go to a Woodland Mansion, um, because I don't think there are any nearby. That's what those look like. They uh, attack you if you are in survival. Of course, they are not the most peaceful things to be around. I'm just going through all these uh, spawn eggs so we don't miss anything here. Spawn bat, spawn rabbit, spawn llama, spawn horse, spawn donkey, spawn mule, spawn skeleton horse. Spawn zombie horse. These guys are new. I have not seen these before. I might be really outdated, but I'm pretty sure these zombie horses are pretty new. Um, actually, these skeleton horses might be new as well. Oh my gosh, these guys look sick as, and you can ride them too. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. I don't know whether that was introduced in a previous version of Minecraft Pocket Edition, but it was def. Um, but if it's not, then yeah, they're pretty cool. I'm just putting that out there. Um, we have. Let's have a look. What else is here? Spawn a stray. Uh, I'm pretty sure these were already introduced. These are basically, um, these are basically, uh, what would you say? They're basically skeletons that spawn only in deserts at night, uh, just like the husk mob. If you don't know what that is, um, it's basically a zombie that only spawns in deserts. What else do we have here? Uh, slime, zombie, zombie pigment, spawn husk, spawn squid, spawn cave spider, spawn witch, spawn guardian. Spawn uh, Endemite, I don't know, these guys were already introduced I believe. So these are basically really annoying little mobs that spawn in the end, um, if you don't know what those are. What else is here, what else is here, I think. And then we have the Evoker, oh, 
I want to show you guys what an Evoker and a Vex look like. These guys look really cool. So this is our Vex here. These are some really annoying little bat type things that just kill you from the sky and they fly all around you. And these things are incredibly hard to kill and they do also spawn in Woodland Mansions. Then we have the Evoker, which is basically your boss mob in the Woodland Mansion. And these guys look pretty sick as well. Alright, so yeah. These are a ton of new mobs that are added to Minecraft Pocket Edition. I'm super excited that we've got so many new mobs and all these new things. Um, except those guys. Those guys, I, ha I hate them. <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and say that out loud. I do hate those. Now, as far as... Far as building blocks go, there is actually no building blocks uh, just here, I believe. Actually, what am I talking about? What am I talking about? We actually have all the new terracotta blocks here. Um, these uh, actually don't work 100% just at the moment for me. Uh, I have seen a few of my Minecraft YouTuber friends, they're working for them. But in this beta, the terracotta blocks aren't exactly working. They are coming out, as you can see, just like clay. Um, but yeah, I don't know what's going on there. I reckon it'll probably fix in one of the sooner updates. If you want to have a look at what ter glazed terracotta blocks look like, I will have them probably in the thumbnail, and you can just go ahead and search them. Those are really, really cool, and I can't wait till they hopefully work. Oh! 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 What? These are clay blocks. Have a look at that. So as you can see, these are completely, completely normal clay blocks, but for some reason they have been named the terracotta blocks, so I'm not sure what's going on here. But if we do come over to the decorations menu, you can see that all the terracotta blocks are actually here. So as you can see, these are terracotta blocks, and these are like pattern style blocks. And if you go ahead and if we do this, and I believe, I'm not sure how to do this actually. I, uh, I do not know how to do this, but the idea is as you are actually able to rotate these into a pattern I'm not sure how you do that on micro pocket edition on PC You would be able to right click, but I'm not sure what we're doing here And there is a ton of these terracotta blocks, and I don't think I'm gonna show you them all But just to give you an idea. I'll just get a few of these out here um, They look very very unusual. They're definitely an unusual minecraft block and I reckon there could be a lot of really cool things built with these things so if we have a look there is definitely some really unusual kind of things going on here. But then, of course, there will always be those noobs who use these blocks and make some seriously ugly builds. But I'm sure that there will be a lot of the Minecraft community who will be using these blocks for the better good of all of us. Um, anyway, so yeah, those are all the terracotta blocks. There are a few more. Uh, as you can see in the inventory here, but you get the idea. You can check these out I think my favorite actually has to be this dark red one with the black. It looks really really cool If you want a full up, oh my gosh in depth um, uh, Video on these I will have a link to my video on these in the description below I go through have a look at all of them in detail But yeah, those are really 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 cool now besides for those if we come up here We as you can see we have all of these new diable beds here We have the white bed the light gray bread the uh, black bed the brown bed the red bed the orange bed the yellow bed green uh, lime Cyan, light blue, dark blue, purple, magenta, pink, all these crazy different colors beds. And as you can see, these work absolutely fine. I think this is really cool because if I want a house and I, I want a green bed, you can have a green bed. I think that is really cool that you can now get whatever color bed you want. And as you can see, these things look really, really cool and could go really nicely in like a themed house or something in my opinion. And these will end up looking really cool and I can't wait to see people use them in their builds. I'm looking forward to that. Now, besides for that, these are the shulker boxes. Now, these actually come in different colors, as you can see. So, this is the purple shulker box. Now, what I'm not understanding is why they're all white in the inventory. It must be another beta glitch here. But you can see, if I do uh, open these up, you can see that they are actually um, working. And they do have colors to them. So, if we just go ahead and open up a white shulker box. Now, basically, if you open one of these, it works basically like a chest. So, if we put something in here, as you can see, it open the way the chest opens here is sick as... Um, I think that is really, really cool the way these chests open. As you can see, if I open up these chests, they just look si really, really cool. I think it looks cool how they open. So yeah, it's basically a cool looking chest and a trophy for defeating the Ender Dragon and going to the Ender City. So you are rewarded for actually going there. Anyway, so besides for that, let's go ahead and open up what else is here. Let's have a look. I'm probably, I honestly am going to miss stuff. We have these concrete powders. Now, concrete powders, basically you drop these in water. So if we come over to the water here... Um, I, th I believe, I'm not 100% sure, these guys work just like sand from memory um, when I was watching Minecraft PC videos when these first came out. And basically, if we, I'm just going to use the terracotta blocks here. Basically, if you drop the concrete powder into water here, it will turn into actual concrete. As you can see there, now we have white concrete. And if we go ahead and grab, let's say, um, some pink concrete powder, 
and we go ahead and drop that into water. As you can see, it turns into actual concrete blocks. So you can craft the concrete powder, then you need to drop them into water, so it's quite a hard process, but I think these blocks look really, really cool, so they're definitely worth it. They'll be great in modern builds. And then using those concrete blocks, you can then craft terracotta blocks, which were those which are these really cool, unusually designed blocks. So yeah, there's definitely a whole ton of stuff here, a ton of new ways to build, a ton of new ways to craft, and a ton of new things to explore in this new update. It's actually ridiculous, the amount of stuff they've packed into this update. It's like Minecraft PC, no joke. Now if we come down here, you can see all the different concrete blocks are here as well, which you can get in the creative inventory, so that if you are in creative, you're not going to have to drop a ton of concrete powder into water, because let me tell you, that is going to take some time. Now I love the look of these concrete blocks, I can't wait to see them used in modern builds. Now you may think, oh these look a lot like clay blocks, now they do, but there is some slight differences, so if I go ahead and grab, let's say, the orange concrete block, you can see that these have more textures where these are more kind of flat kind of design. But yeah, that's basically the concrete block summed up. Wow, I just, there's so much stuff. I'm so sure I'm missing stuff, but I just can't think of all the different things that are added. Thank goodness we did the change log before I started. Um, So yeah, oh right, we also have these. Now these are the Totem of Undying. Now these are pretty, pretty cool. Um, I'm probably going to mess up how these are used. Um, I'm not 100% sure how these actually get used. Now, I know in Minecraft PC you can use these to stop you from dying, so I'm just gonna go ahead actually first and set the time today. Time, set, day, and then we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna switch to survival because I know you can only use these in game mode S. All right, now I believe the idea is, um, how do these work actually? I'm not 100% sure. Now, I do know that on uh, Minecraft PC, Minecraft PC here. Basically, if you jump off a cliff and you're on like one heart, the Totem of Undying, as it is called, will actually save you from death. I'm not sure whether that whether you have to click something or anything, because I'm not a Minecraft PC player. I'm just going to kind of keep... I might actually... Let's go ahead. We're going to do slash game mode S. Uh, creative, I mean. And then we're going to fly way up and see whether if we fall, this thing will save us or whether we have to, you know, hold it or something. I'm not... I honestly have no idea, guys, but I do know that this thing will save you from dying, as, you know, the name kind of suggests, the Totem of Undying. So let's go ahead, we're all the way up in the sky, let's go ahead, slash, game mode, oh, I can't just type here, slash, oh my gosh, I can't type, slash, game mode, oh, come on, S, let's hope this guy saves us. Please save us, please save us. And look at that, it does save us. So if you fall and you're just about to die, as you can see, it adds four extra hearts to your thing, and it gives you healing and fire resistance and regeneration, which is really cool. So basically, if you have a totem of undying in your inventory, you go up against a village, um, an illager, a vex, you know, an ender dragon, a wither, and that thing just does one dying blow to you just before you can go ahead and drink a health potion. Lucky for you, you will be saved just from dying and regenerated straight back to full health. And you get fire resistance as an added perk, which I think that is really, really cool. Because I can imagine the amount of times this totem of undying is going to save me in a boss battle or attacking. Oh my gosh, what was that? Oh, right, yep, the Vex is down there. The Vex absolutely just wrecked me. So if we come out here, I guess I can show you the way these Vexes attack. And as you can see, these guys have already multiplied. Um, That is not good. So these guys... I hate these guys. Look at them. They turn into these blood red killing machines with mini swords. These things are just killer deadly. I don't like them. I have to be honest. Um, and they kill really quickly. So if we come down here, I wonder if we can find the illager from earlier and I can show you how that attacks. But I don't, I don't think we have one. I think it is, I think it's run away. Oh my gosh, it's down here. Frick. Anyway, yeah, these things are dangerous. You definitely want to make sure you have some diamond armor before you go against these guys and you explore a woodland mansion. Let me tell you that those things are dangerous. So yeah, there is a ton of new stuff added to this update. I apologize if I have missed anything, but we are at 20 minutes, so you can see clearly this update is insane, and I am super excited to showcase this more in depth. I'll be doing seed videos on Woodland Mansions, etc, etc. I might do some showcase videos on uh, the Woodland Mansions and how to beat um, the different um, new mobs, and I'll show you a bunch of crafting recipes, that kind of thing. It's actually ridiculous the amount of new stuff they've added in there. So props to you, Mojang. Congratulations, you've done a great job with this update. I'm super excited to be playing it, and I can't wait to, you know, start using all these new features, all these new building blocks in the Kingdom SMP, and I think, 
Uh, what is going to be a little sad is there isn't going to be a Woodland Mansion in Kingdom SMP, just because, you know, the Kingdom SMP was done in an older version of Minecraft. But, you know what, if you guys are interested, definitely let me know in the comments below if you want me to start a survival series in Minecraft 1.1. Where we go ahead and we try and prepare ourselves to explore a woodland mansion and we go ahead and beat all the different mobs there. That would be super exciting, I reckon. I think you guys would enjoy that. So definitely let me know in the comments below if you want a survival 1.1 uh, Minecraft Pocket Edition series when it does officially come out for Minecraft Pocket Edition. Anyway, so this kind of brings us to the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you were super excited like I am. If you are, make sure to smash that like button. We are going to hit 300 likes today. I really hope we can do that. And until next time, guys, it's your map. Bye.